afternoon, everyone. This is Dr. Claire Broughton, and today we will be discussing larceny theft. So what is larceny theft? It is the unlawful taking, carrying, leading, or riding away of property from the possession or constructive possession of another. It's the most frequently occurring property crime, and the largest category is theft from motor vehicles. Unlike burglary, it does not involve force or other means of illegal uh, entry. Shoplifting and employee theft. Retail theft includes shoplifting and theft by store employees. And most store employees who steal are short-term workers. In fact, internal theft by store employees is more serious than shoplifting. And efforts to combat shoplifting may impact sales. So who shoplifts? Juveniles are overrepresented as shoplifters. And most offending patterns are sporadic, okay? Early findings that most shoplifters are female was seriously challenged in more, in more recent research. And in fact, majority of juveniles admit to shoplifting at some point in their lifetime, but they mature out, you know, as they age. Flash mobs and larceny. What are flash mobs? Flash mobs are purpose, purposeful crowds brought together at a moment's notice through use of social media websites. Some of these have involved, been involved in organized criminal activity. And some of these flash mobs have in fact committed theft in commercial retail establishments. Now let's look at identity theft. Identity theft is a modern crime wherein the offender uses someone else's personal information to commit fraud, okay? And there are several types. Either you use the existing account for, um, to commit identity theft, or you open a new account using the personal information of your victims, of your victim. What are the costs of identity theft? Obviously, the direct losses resulting from the crime, indirect costs to the businesses who have to implement fraud prevention and harm mitigation measures, such as, you know, secure, um, monitoring of identity and uh, security of their clients, and then also indirect, indirect costs to the victims, such as costs of dealing with civil litigation and obstacles in obtaining or retaining credit. This slide just shows us the different laws that have been enacted or implemented to combat identity theft. The incidence of identity theft, the Bureau of Justice Statistics Define identity theft as the un unauthorized use or attempted use of existing credit cards, the unauthorized use or attempted use of other existing accounts, or the misuse of personal information to obtain new accounts or loans or to commit other crimes. So who are identity thieves? It's difficult to classify them because they have no prior criminal background. They may have pre-existing relationship with victims and we are seeing an increased involvement of foreign organized criminal groups in computer or internet related schemes. We also see an increased level of sophistication and specialization. Now let's look at motor vehicle theft. It is a theft or attempted theft of a motor vehicle, such as automobiles, buses, motorcycles, snowmobiles, or other forms of uh, transportation. However, automobiles are the most commonly stolen type of vehicle. Largest percentage of vehicles are stolen from the parking lot or garage, and majority of motor vehicle thefts are reported to the police. Reasons for thefts include joyriding, temporary transportation needs, or using a crime and stripping. Now, in contrast to motor vehicle theft, theft of car parts involve only you know stolen parts of a vehicle, and most or majority of recovered stolen cars are fully or partially stripped. What are the motivation for theft of car parts? Because some of these parts are worth a lot on the illegal market and they're easily sold. They can be sold because they usually don't have identifying numbers, unlike you know, vehicles which have vehicle identification numbers. Joy riders are those who uh, steal cars for fun. So they um, commit temporary theft of a vehicle to satisfy their needs of excitement and personal autonomy. They're, they are usually opportunistic and committed by groups of teenagers. 
and majority of boat vehicles stolen by joyriders are recovered, usually found abandoned, and often have after having been crashed. What is a professional car thief or theft? They're the most costly and serious form of auto theft. Okay, they're not as common as thefts for other uses, and they often work in groups you know, where they plan and deliberately cal calculate their or select their targets. Professional thefts have low lowest recovery rates. On the other hand, professional criminals make a living from crime, are recognized by other offenders as a professional, engaged in planned and calculated offending. They commit crime with skill and earn reasonably well and spend little time incarcerated. In contrast to professional thieves, a persistent thief is someone who continually commits crime or persists in committing um, theft, even if they're not really successful. Okay, so that ends our lecture today on theft. My next lecture will be on property, criminal careers of property offenders and receivers.